So, hello organizer, welcome. You have clicked on this video because you wanted to find out which is the best email. Well, you're in the right place. Now, we're about to get started. Sit down, uh, comment, uh, like, uh, share, and subscribe. Click that notification button and make sure you receive all the best content about your phone, your PC, your life, and how we can make it simple. So, let's get started. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Moses. Thank you very much for joining in, guys. It has been an absolute pleasure to start this video and start this journey. I remember doing the first video. Uh, click above here. Somewhere here at the top, I'll put a link to my first video so you can have a look and see what this is all about. It's an introduction and it's also to ask for my money, uh, which I currently haven't received yet. But uh, let's continue with my video. So I want to show you one of the best videos, uh, one of the best videos, one of the best email client that it, there is available to uh, a computer or a Mac. Now this one I've been using for quite a while. It's really good, really fast, and the software is 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 brilliant. Um, I like simple stuff. I like to have things organized in the right way, in the right direction. So when I go into it, I I, I like simplicity. Simplicity is always the easy key route. So I'm going to show you the application now. It's called EM Client. Um, it's a very simple uh, application to install and get started. Uh, there is a subscription service that you have to pay for it. Um, also, just as a disclaimer, I'm not endorsed to talk about it, but because it makes life easy, I want your life to be easy as well. So let me tell you a bit about it and uh, we'll go from there. So let's have a look at this email client. So, so just to head over to emclients.com. Uh, click on download for free supports all major services so you have your Google you have your uh, Microsoft uh, Exchange you have your iCloud and then obviously you have Outlook as well um, if you go into features you know it will show you different features that they have on there uh, conversations and all that stuff all that lovely beautiful stuff but anyways head over to download so you can download for Mac or Windows um, and as I said, there is a pricing fee on this. So if we go to Pro, so it's only twenty nine ninety five, uh, which isn't that much. Um, yeah. So I've already downloaded it. Let's get started. I've already uploaded my email address, uh, but you can do that by just going to Tools, Accounts, um, and then obviously adding your email address there. Um, and the reason why I like this is the simplicity of it. Um, so, you know, you compose an email, you do an attachment, you know, so let's just send an email to myself. Tutorials, gmail. And just to give you a feel of what it would look like. Test, hello, and send. And there we are, it's in the unbox. I'm going to spell my name wrong. I should have gone to myself. Oh, there we are. So it's already there, test. And uh, this is how they more look like. You also have this up here as always. Says, always download a picture from this sender, uh, which is always one handy to have if uh, documents uh, contain inappropriate. So you see the simple view of it. Everything looks so simple. You know, you have your scent, uh, your trash, your um, drafts, junk mail, and so forth and so on. You can also have um, your different folders that you've set up on uh, Google or Yahoo or iCloud or Outlook, whichever you want to use. Um, on this side here, you know, you have the agenda, which will show things in your calendar, and you have contacts as well, where you can save certain contact details of individuals. Uh, you also have your calendar here. So it has a month view here, giving you a month overall review of your calendar. You have your week, your days, your work days from Monday to Friday, if that's the type of job you do. Um, and then you have your week, the full week, uh, month, agenda, anything that you may have in your calendar will show here and so forth and so on. Um, you also have a, a today do list. So if you've created like a, a to do list, it will also show up on here. Um, 
you have your task as I said so you can add a new task in here and then it will show up on your calendars and in your agendas and stuff like that and it also sends notifications so it uses the notification bar in um, in your windows to kind of send your notifications so forth and the reason also I like it is because you can see the difference between the main um, the widget on the sides and the actual content page that you're looking at where some outlook would have this uh, completely blended together the same white color contrast and only the outside would be blue or so forth and so on and this is quite a simple application to use it loads really quickly and I've not a lot much to it to be honest because it's a simple app um, you know you have a little bit of the weather here showing you a little bit of the weather which is really cool And uh, yeah, so when you create a, a new calendar, it will sync to your local calendar, whichever one you've selected as your default. So if we go back into the settings tab uh, and have a look here, what I want into the accounts tab, sorry, and have a look here, uh, you can see that you can create this as your default email. And if you have multiple emails that you have here, um, just to bear in mind, if you haven't paid for the full service, you can only have two emails. Once you've signed up to the free service, um, but yeah, if you haven't signed up to the free service, you'd only allow one email at a time. And this is a very simple app. So when you go into settings, you have multiple things that you can look at. You know, you have your, you know, your minimize to tray, your close, your basically everything. Sync every 10 minutes. You can bring that down all the way to one minute, which is really cool. Um, different languages. If you speak different language and you want it in a different language. You have quite a few languages here. Uh, notifications, so different notifications. If you wanted to make noise or not, whatever it is, for different things that may have come up or popped up on the screen. Um, you know, you have confirmations. You know, before you delete an email and all that stuff, which is really cool. And then obviously you have storage where you want to store your your current uh, email database. And you also has, has a password protection. So once it loads, it will ask for a password before it shows the the actual menu and everything else which is really cool um, and there's other few things here as well this print tab is really cool because you can print each e each mail on a separate page or print username uh, in the page header um, so if you're an organizer and you like to know where your emails have come from and you want to be passing it out to people to say obviously uh, these are the clients I have these are the emails blah 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 etc etc so you have many different things here different tasks you even have the web as I said which will show up um, on the calendars as you can see on these two here uh, you have the chat um, that allows you to chat to people who are on um, on uh, Google um, but you can also use the RSS widget to uh, link this up to other things uh, in your life and stuff like that so it's, it's a really good and simple app and you know for those who really want to organize and make sure that their life is is on point this is one of the apps that you should be using to kind of do on your day-to-day -day basis. Thank you very much guys for watching my YouTube channel. This is the EM client, one of the best email applications for Windows there is. Better than all the applications that there is out there at the moment that I've seen. Uh, Mozilla, Thunderbird, I've tried that out as well. And I tell you that for free, it is complicated, it is not simple. You have to get the right one to have the right themes and all of this other stuff and etc etc and really looks horrible but this is one of the best ones that I've used so far and again I would recommend for anyone who's using a Windows or a Mac to get it if you don't like your current email client it works well download it use it see how you get on with it and I promise you now you will love this application thank you very much guys see you in the next one salute